Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Brown here, and welcome back to the next episode of Medieval Minecraft. In the end of the previous episode, I decided that I was just going to go ahead and add a little time lapse of me minding out our new base. So this is the basement of the base, and this is going to be kind of like the, the door, the main entrance. And we got a little bedroom up here where I want to display some of the new armors in the game and some of the different armors that are in the game along the walls and stuff like that and put our bed up here and make it have like a cool little bedroom and my mine all the way to the edge here and put like a glass window out there so our um so our mountain has like a little outside feel to it because right now it's just kind of bare i got rid of a bunch of the maple trees that were around and yeah i just mined out this little base and i might make another downstairs portion here but that'll be for a later time but in this episode i want to go and do some more mining and get a upgraded flask so that we don't have, we can carry more than just two slots of water and the way we do that we need to smelt some copper and i was able to mine some copper from um just mining out the um the uh, base here so i was able to get 62 pieces of copper we're not gonna need that much but we will need some other items as well, along with, we do need a campfire. So we need some sticks, some charcoal, or some coal, and some logs there. So let me grab three of these. Oh, is it three or just one? Just one. Okay, but we're going to have three anyways. And some sticks, and we already have the wood. So we got this, 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 and this, and then this here. And that gives us a campfire. Uh, we're going to put this down here just for now. Um, probably have to end up moving it later on. And we'll have to make a whole new one. But for now, we're just going to leave it down here. And then we also need this campfire cauldron, um, which we we'll need some more sticks of copper cauldron. That's what we need the copper for. Uh, some chain and some more sticks. So for the chain, we just need some iron nuggets and some iron to make a chain just like that. And then now that our copper is done, we have enough copper. We need to make a copper cauldron like so. And then we need sticks, which I am missing two sticks. Okay, now we should be good to make this. There we go. Now we have the campfire cauldron. Um, so with this, we just want to put it on the campfire like that, and we want to take our water bucket. Oh, let's upgrade the let's upgrade the flask first, so that we can hold more slots. And I want to do it, I believe, out of gold. Um, I think we just put it in a row like that that's not how you do it okay i thought that was how you do it maybe you have to do it iron and then gold so this one holds three so let's do the iron one first i thought we just could do it straight from the gold i am misclicking like no other okay so now we got the gold flask this one holds three and then this one would hold four and i think there is a diamond version as well yep the diamond version holds five but i don't think we have four diamonds and i don't really want to waste our we do have four diamonds i don't really want to waste our four diamonds on that for now I mean, I guess I could. I don't know if it's a big deal or not. Let's just go ahead and do it. We're, we're going to go find some more diamonds today, hopefully, anyways. And we need some water, no matter what. So now we hold, can hold five. I don't know if there's an upgrade past this. There is. We can make a netherite one as well. And there probably isn't anything past that. I don't believe so. Okay. So, yeah, we have the highest level of cauldron or flask that we can use for now. So with this cauldron... Uh, this campfire cauldron since oh okay it burns obviously we're gonna put the water in the campfire and now it's automatically purified so when we pick up the water from here it's gonna say it still says dirty water i've been lied to okay well maybe i have to let the water stay in there for a little while but from the video that i watched it was just we just got to put water in there and it instantly purifies it maybe the video that i watched was a bit outdated um, and it needs more time to purify. So let's we'll just go ahead and... Oh, that's not it. That's not good. Let's go ahead and redo it and see if that'll change anything. Just let it sit there for a while. Got some mossy stone. How'd that get there? I don't know if that was there before or not. I don't remember. So we're just going to let it do its thing for a little bit. I guess we do have some dirty water now. So we might as well just... Get rid of that and drink it up. Let me go up here and sleep real quick because it's becoming nighttime. But yeah, I don't have a mine sh mine set up yet, so we're gonna go out and um, find a cave still. Hopefully around here somewhere. Um, just because I want to get some better armor going and better weaponry, so that we can go explore some of these towers. 
that have been that we've been seeing around the place. So I don't I'm not sure when you're when you can tell if it's done or not. This thing is still full of dirty water, so let's just get rid of it. Well that time it didn't give me the thirst effect when I drank it. Interesting. Get another skill point here, get another half a heart going. Um and uh, can we build the wave stones? I don't know if we can or not. We can uncraft them. I think we can't. Yeah, we can build them, but I don't know how to get this. We need to end a pearl and some flint. Okay. For now, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to try to remember where our base is once we go mining. I'm going to stop smelting all this copper because we don't need it anymore. Just for now. Organize this. And we're going to take some of the coal with us. Can we turn these into sticks just so I can get rid of them? You can. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to make some torches. Just so I have them. How do I, I don't know how to make the stone torches. Because apparently those are brighter. Hold on, let me look. Stone torch. That's a U, not an O. Stone torch. Stone torch. A stone rod. Which is just deep soy. You got a polish it looks like andesite diorite can, can use cobblestone that's marble points you can't okay probably need stone okay so I'm assuming that this has been purified enough by now but yeah now it says it's purified so we just had to wait a little bit of time that's all it was okay cool I'm glad we got that figured out. But while we're down in the mine, we're just going to go ahead and do the dirty water. Just because that's all we got access to at the time. So we might as well just do that for now. Um, I think we lost our short bow. Hmm. We did, because I'm not seeing it anymore. We got to keep this somewhere where I know where it's at. Um, let's organize it. Put that back over there. Yeah, because we have the arrows, but we don't have anything else. Which is alright, I guess. Can you make weapons out of these? You can. The wands. Hmm. Oh man. 10 attack damage. Oh boy. These are some gnarly looking weapons. And you need a nether star for that? What? That's expensive. Okay. Enough of that. Let's go ahead and get going. Um, I might want to take some more moonstones if I do have any. I'm going to take three more just in case I need to make another pickaxe. Take four more. I might as well just make the pickaxe while I'm here, I guess. That's not how you make it? How'd you make it? Oh, you need the verglass. That's what this part is. There we go. A rare one. Cool. Let's get rid of that one. Okay. Just in case I need it as we go along. Okay, so I'm kind of conflicted on whether or not I want to just like build down or like mine down or look for something fresh. That looks like it's an underwater cave. We don't want to mess with that. Surely there's a cave entrance somewhere over here. Probably gonna end up some lagging a little bit because we're loading some new chunks. These look like underwater caves. Cave, 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 cave. I'm assuming those are full of bad guys because there's a lot of red indicators over there. So probably something I don't want to go near. Tend to just to dig straight down. Oh, there's an urn or a clay pot. Looks like some radishes. A little bit of lag. Lots of trees loading in. Okay, we're back. Mike was muted for that, but we're back. Um, yeah, we had a slight crash. 
Um, I changed some settings. You can, as you can tell, you probably can't hear it because of the music right now. The music's great in this. I love it. But you can kind of hear the water raining, like it's like it's raining, but you can't see it. So hopefully that helps with um, our lagging issues when we're loading some new chunks. So yeah, just for now, that's how we're gonna do it. Okay, and here we are. Here is a cave that I'm going to go into, I think. I might as well. I don't see any reason why not. Um, what I should have done was mark the house. Um, but I, I don't quite remember where it... I think it's here. I think this is the house. So we're going to go ahead and set a waypoint to home. Or home. Home. Okay. Just so we kind of know where it's at, I think it's. I think that's where it's at. If not, it's close enough to where we'll be. Able, wow, this goes down a long ways. Okay, so what are you? Okay, new enemy, new enemy. He's gonna try, and he's down. All right, not too bad. Are we gonna mine some copper? I guess so. This episode's gonna be all about mining. We're all about getting as many resources as possible. I should have probably made a backpack for this, but I didn't. Probably would have been a 100 IQ play, but I have no IQ, so there's that. Okay, so we're mainly looking for ores that are good. So like the, well, copper's not good, but we're gonna get a lot of XP after we smelt it. So that's why I like picking it up. And if anything, we can just turn it into blocks afterwards is this deep slate soapstone and the goal the objective is to not unalive unaliving would not be good i haven't done it yet but i know it's coming eventually and i don't want it to be today i want it to be a, a worthy unalive like we die fighting a boss or something not in a freaking cave sandstone is that coal i think that was coal so much copper, man. So much copper. Enderman, are you pissed? I can't tell. You're not pissed. Okay. Should, should I unalive the Enderman? Would it be useful? I think it would be. It's kind of cool. He has like a little purple thing in his chest. That's kind of cool. Okay, we're going to unalive the Enderman. Come here, buddy. He's angry. Does he have eyeballs? Okay. I don't see. He doesn't have eyes. Wow, you're really loud. And he's down. Ah! Oh! Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He scared me. <laughs> no, not the goblin trader. He scared me. Hey, we got three apples from it, though. Equipable in the face. What? Okay, so I guess we're just going to eat apples whenever we get hungry. That's kind of cool. I did not mean to unalive the goblin trader. That was not my intention. I don't I don't even know what level diamonds are on. Bird glass. This is what we use to make our pickaxe, so this is good. These are good stuff here. It's just so dark. I think I have my brightness turned all the way up, too. I'm surprised there's no mobs down here with how dark it is. I think this place would be crawling with mobs. What is that pink stuff? Magnesium. I'm not so interested in the salt because I don't think it's going to be beneficial. Don't need to salt my foods yet. Yeah, apparently we can put apples on our face. And we just eat them when we our hunger goes down. I think it's what it's do, it did. Because when I put them on there, it ate one. Lots of copper. I wonder how bright the stone the stone torches are compared to the regular torches. Because this is not very bright. What are we on? Level 15. What I don't want to run into right now is the warden. This isn't a stone, is it? No, it's like a building block. Is 
we run into the warden, we gotta run the other way. Well, we're definitely not ready for the warden. Okay, here's some iron. Took us like 100 levels just to find it, but we did find some in the cold. Yep. I heard, I heard that. Skeleton down. More redstone. What is this? Oh, shit. Lots of iron nuggets. What is this? Can we put this somewhere? A bundle. Bundle of what? I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what the bundle does. It says it has zero out of sixty-four, but zero out of sixty-four what? I don't know. That's kind of cool. But there's chests down here. So yeah, my plan is to get a bunch of ores and then we're going to turn them all into blocks to save in inventory space. At least like the regular Minecraft ores. And then we will um, unblock them when we get back to the base and when they're ready to be smelted. It's kind of my plan. Just kind of stock up on stuff for now. Mining has increased. See, we just ate right there. You heard it? Did you hear it? We ate, and we were missing an apple. That's cool. I need I need more apples, because that's going to be very useful. Just get, like, 64 apples, and we'll never have to worry about food. That sounds like a great idea. Especially how quickly you can knock down trees in this. We just got to find some oak trees. We haven't been in one regular Minecraft biome. Is that an oh, icicle? I don't like it because, like, you can hear, like, when a mob makes a noise, it freaking echoes. These are these are scary because we don't want to land on these because these these hurt. If we fall on them from high up. Kind of like that. Another pot. Some more coal. Dang, this thing goes all the way down. I feel like I'm going to be missing stuff because I can't really see. There's diamonds. Yay, diamonds! One diamond. Oh, shoot. Better than no diamonds. lots of this stuff around. I don't know if it's any good or not. Some more ash. Lots of ash. Oh, we haven't found this ore yet. The Carmots. Carmots. Okay. 1 XP in 10 seconds. Make it to 108 slots. Jeez. Not really too useful. I guess we can turn... I guess we can make it into armor. Gives me some max health. Whoa. I have no idea what this stuff is. It's alright. We'll keep it anyways. Another skelly boy down there. No way you're shooting at me from all the way down there. How did I just take damage right there? What are these? Something shards. I don't know what they do. Oh, we can make swords. Turn iron into them. 
It looks like the smithing table is going to be very useful in this. So we may have to get on making one of those. Or silver. Starting to hear some zombies. This stuff seems to be everywhere. Earth nodes. Got another level 10. Yeah, this stuff's everywhere. Big vein. Can't remember if that stuff's any useful or not. Hardly any mobs, which is weird. Not that I have them turned off because we've been seeing them some, but... I don't need it that bad. There we go. Silver... Another dead end. Okay, so let's. So we already got a full inventory. God, that didn't take very long. Let's make a crafting table. Start turning some of this into blocks. Already so much copper. We haven't even mined that much. Not enough gold. I don't know if we can do with ash. Probably nothing. Probably just get rid of that. Silver blocks. I still don't know what this bundle does. I want to know what that does, but I don't know what it does. Okay, so it's right click to add item. Oh. If I just read a little bit, it'll tell me what to do. That's crazy. So we can just add. Okay, we can add 64 items. Okay. It's not 64 slots, it's 64 items, which isn't horrible. Just start adding stuff to it. Let's see. I think the rest of this we're going to throw out. We put the iron in there, put the diamond in there, but the rest of it could probably go out. Just because we have all the blocks of them. The feathers, we'll probably keep the coal. These can go, these can go. We'll keep the redstone because we actually we actually don't have any. I think that'll do for now. Leave my trail. Okay. Back to it. Um, adamantite, whatever that does. Oh, there's a glow squid. Don't know what that one is. A lot more silver. This looks weird because it's in the deep sleep. Oh no, I think it's a different kind of silver. So also, the ore looks weird. I see this is also silver. That's more like the silver we've been finding. OK. 
Okay, another Revenant, level 2. They're getting a tougher. And he's down. The skeleton did seem to disappear. That was messing with us earlier. More gold. I gotta see if I can find a way to brighten this stuff up because it's hard. It is hard to see. I'm gonna check and see if I have my brightness all the way up. Yeah, it's on bright. Is that emeralds? No. Hey, nothing back here. I don't know what the optimal level is to strip mine in this. I don't really want to strip mine. Dude, there says there's so many enemies. But I don't see any. It must be nighttime out or something. Because I'm not going far enough down. Okay, here's a zombie. Lots of redstone. Here, another zombie somewhere. more. We're on negative 54, 53. Is that Moonstone? Yeah, I think Moonstone's pretty good because as far away down it is, I think it's pretty good. It's gotta be. Another that didn't have anything in it, it didn't look like. I did. Cold nuggets. Um, what are these? Glow squid? Nah. Not interested in any glow squid, sorry. I need to drink here soon. See, and this stuff requires diamond to mine. I did move the face cam so you guys can see the top left, hopefully. Um, so you can see what things are with me and how quickly they mine and what you need to mine them. So I didn't realize that in the first couple episodes. So glad I got that sorted for you guys. We haven't had this one, I don't think. Runic. Okay, apparently we have. What does it do? 99 smith and bar. Make some swords. Pickaxes. Some armor. And another dead end. Very little in the diamond department. Like, hardly any. Oh, you almost got me. You just sound scary. Oh, hello. Scared the poop out of me. Okay, we're finding some of the mobs now. Yeah, there's something. Okay. I 
I don't think we can take a creeper explosion. I, maybe with our extra health we might be able to. Lots of spiders in there. Got a recipe for something with a spider eye. More runic. I need to find like a little chart of like all the ores that are in this this pack and see what's better than what. Even though I could figure it out on my own, but it'd just be a lot quicker just to be able to see them all at once. Instead of me having to like search for them. Hello, torch. I'm out of torches. There. That's not a chest, is it? No. More spur glaze. Another pot. More torches. Take those. More diamonds right there. Okay. Moonstone. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of a lot of noise. Sorry, there's something else up here and it's kind of freaking me out. Sounds like it's something talking. Is that the surface? No way. Where'd it go? Uh, nightmare. And then a creeper. That thing looks scary as shit. That thing looks scary as shit. Hello, sir. How are you? Oh my god. You are one ugly ass motherfucker. Are you not mad at me? I'm gonna hit ya. 49 health. Okay. You're slow as shit, though. Come haunt me. Okay, you're not that bad. Okay. That was one creepy looking guy. I thought I could hear something talking. I didn't know if he was talking or not, but he was whatever noise he was making was freaking me out. More bones. There's no way that's the surface, though. I didn't think it was. Must have just been blocks weren't loading in. I think this has been fairly eventful so far. Not many diamonds, but we've got a lot of different ores now. I just need to figure out what's better, ore-wise. I don't know if it goes the diamond, the netherrack. I know it goes diamond, the netherrack, and regular Minecraft, but I don't know if there's something like that's better than diamond that's like not in regular Minecraft or 
like some of this runic stuff. Now I'm lost. I missed some of this stuff. Like this stuff needs a diamond pickaxe to mine, so is it better than diamonds? Like just stuff I do not know. I don't know if there's anything up there. I walked right by this stuff. Okay, let's try going this way. Zomboy. Okay. Seems seems safe for now. More of that ore that seems to be freaking everywhere. Five emeralds, oh man. We're gonna have so much silver too. Okay, some more silver again. Silver's so gonna become the new copper, might as well get it now, so we don't have to have to get it again. Alright, I, yeah, I would assume there'd be so many more mobs down here than what we've seen. I must have the difficulty on like easy or something. Or normal, I don't even know what it's on. I think it's on normal, but... We're just not finding anything. No, no mobs, no nothing. Makes it kind of boring. This stuff's everywhere. I'm out of torches. And I don't think I have any more coal. Fortunately. That's not good. We haven't really found that much coal either. Yeah, now since I can't see, I can't now I really can't see. I can't believe we haven't found any coal.
Hmm. Now we're just running in circles. We might have exhausted this cave. I don't think we have gotten fully of it, but because it's just big open areas. But I feel like we've got the majority of the stuff that's on the surface, though, that, that what I could see, because I can't really see that well. Yeah, let me get back up here. Try to find the way out. If I can remember which way it was. more zombies uh yeah i don't know that's why i don't like the 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 caves and cliffs update yeah the caves are cool and massive and they're cool looking but it just makes it so much harder to find things especially in mod packs like this when there's so many different ores that you don't know what they do all do it just makes it so much more difficult to see for one because it's completely dark and like two you just Especially when there's a texture pack on this on this like this mod pack. This makes it like damn near impossible to tell what anything is. Yeah, I probably walked past so many diamonds and I wouldn't even known it. Okay, so I think this is close to the way out. Let's go grab this verglass. I keep calling it verglass, but that's not what it is. That might be moonstone. Yeah, it's moonstone. Or it's a verg glaze, not glass. Like we got some company over here, some zombies somewhere. Here back to the chest. There he is. Maybe this cave was just terrible luck. Like we didn't even go down there. But I can't see enough to go down there. Yeah, I can hear you walking. Whoa. Oh, another glow squid's drowning. That's sad. Oh, there's the first lapis that we've seen. That'll come in handy later on for when we're gonna do some enchanting eventually. I not sure if the enchanting is any different or if it's the same in this as it it was in like regular Minecraft and stuff. Here's all the good ores. Iron that I put a torch on. There's the exit where we came in. So much copper. Okay. Let's get out of here real quick. And then we'll head back to... Head back to the base. Okay. It might be way too difficult. Look at all the red... Holy, where are we at? We're down here. Holy. Okay, so I think we're gonna, not going to do that this episode because there is a lot of boys over there. We may come and tackle that in the next episode because, oh doggy, we got, we got too much stuff on us to die. If it was like maybe like 10, eh, I could see it, but there's a good... 15 to 20 over there, and I don't know exactly what they are. I was assuming they're pillagers, so that just makes it even worse. So we'll have to see, and we'll, we'll uh, make a shield in the next episode, too, in case they are pillagers, so we can just deflect all their arrows and stuff. But yeah, that's not something that's going to be good um, if I were to go over there now. All right, we left the doors open, but we're back home. Campfire is still going. Put this water in here to start being purified. Okay. Let's throw our spoils in there for now. Okay, well, that's going to conclude this episode. We we did fairly a lot in this episode. We got a lot of mining done, got a lot of different ores, and we got this bundle, bundle here so we could actually um, carry some extra stuff. So, yeah. I would say our progress is, is going up very slowly, but we are getting there as they go. But we're still trying to learn, still trying to figure out mechanics of the game. And I'm going to do some research 
hopefully in between the next couple episodes to figure out which ores are better compared to the other ones. I'm going to smell all this first and get it all turned into its ingots. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please be sure to hit, a, hit the like button down below and subscribe for more. And leave a comment on some suggestions uh, if you guys have any uh, additional information for me about medieval Minecraft. That would go a long way and that would help a lot. But yeah, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys, everyone's having a great day and a great weekend or whatever day you are watching this. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Hi, how are you, Mr. Ghost? What are you doing in my house? Are you going to hurt me? No? Are you just going to wave at me? Well, I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you.